hey if you stick with me for the next five ten minutes i'm gonna show you how to make your agents much smarter and it's super easy so right now usually people are using one of two memories either the simple buffer memory or postgres just to show you here i made a really simple agent basically has nothing inside system prompt and usually what we do is we connect system buffer memory just because it's super easy and as you can see you can choose the key which is pretty much how the agent remembers who is speaking with and it can choose the context window basically how many messages it remembers right now i'm just gonna leave it to chat trigger and let's say 50 messages and the other type of memory that I've seen being used the most is Postgres memory, which is quite similar. However, it's uh, the memory stored in something like Superbase. I'm just gonna show you what I mean by that. All right, so I quickly connected Postgres to Superbase and I just sent the message, hey, I got a response. Hey, how can I assist you today? And as you can see, we got both the responses here. And, and basically that's how it looks. Uh, you can basically see the type is human, the content is hey, which is the message that I sent, and some additional data. And you can also see the response that is from AI, you can see the actual response, the context of the message, and if we used any tools and some additional data. You can also see the session ID, and that's about it. The thing is this type of memory Postgres is a bit better than the, the Windows buffer memory. Just because you can see it, it's also saved in here. Therefore, you can come back and just see what was the message about. And eventually you can even increase the context window length by as much as you want. However, it's by no means perfect just because uh, it doesn't make any connections. That's why I found another memory, which was uh, here for a while actually, but I didn't use it. Uh, it's pretty much this one, it's Zep. It's actually, let me just show you. So that's basically it, that's the uh, memory. As you can see, it's made specially for AI agent. It improves the agent accuracy by a lot, almost 100%. And you can check the website on your own. Anyway, let me show you what is it about. So I already made an account. I'm gonna show you how to actually set up everything, but let me first show you this one. So right now I already chat with it for a bit. You can see the session, you can see all the messages that I've sent here. And it's, uh, it looks much better visually than uh, uh, Superbase, for example. And which is most important, it can actually make connections between stuff that you said. So, uh, I don't know. I was just chatting shit here right now. So, uh, my competition is connected to innovation and investing strategies. I also have uh, some connections between, let's see. I also asked about Apple what's their market share and what's it dependent on. You can see all those dependencies are here. Can I even connect them? No, I cannot connect them. But if you click on, if you click on something, it's gonna give you like a summary of what was the chat about. But anyway, I think that's enough. So let me just go back. I'm gonna delete the whole project. And I'm just gonna show you how to set it up from scratch, which is actually super easy. So when you make an account, you're gonna see something like that. I'm gonna just call it YouTube. You're gonna name the project like YouTube or something or something. Uh, you can also give it a description and you're gonna create the project. Also, you need the key that's pretty much the, um, the API key that you're gonna use to connect to Anything. So I'm just gonna call it Anything and click, click Create. Then I'm gonna copy the key, go back to Anything, go to Zep. I already have an account, but um, for this video, let's just create a new one, paste the API here, click on cloud, save, and that's basically it. Now your agent is 10 times smarter. Let me do a new session and do some chatting. By the way, here, I believe you're pretty much done here. So let's uh, chat with it, for example. What should I ask? I'm just gonna chat with it for like 10 minutes and then speed up so you can see the result how can i assist you let's say uh, something that let's test the memory so my favorite car brand is i don't fucking know my favorite car brand is uh bmw okay i'm just saying that so it c we can check if it's gonna remember it after 10 20 100 messages so, so i'm gonna chat with it for a bit and then come back when i've done that all right so after a bit of back and forth with the agent, I'm not sure how many messages we sent, but 
In the beginning, I asked that my favorite car brand is BMW, so let me ask it again. Hey, do you remember what my favorite car brand is? Well, do you remember what my favorite car brand is? Uh, because in the beginning... Oh, let me stop that. Alright, so the first question I didn't... Uh, bro, stop for fuck's sake. And I stopped. Uh, in the beginning, the first question I didn't um, exactly write it how, how it was supposed to be written. And the second one actually said the right, said it in the right way. And now it remembers something that we sent 56 messages ago. Let me check actually how many messages that we sent. So there are 10 per page more or less and we exchanged about 8 messages. And as you can see the second message is uh, about my favorite car brand. And as you can see it already made like a graph about my interest and shit which is kind of fucking crazy. I believe here you can also uh, change the name so you can easily know what the name of the person is, the email, the last name and maybe you can add some more information as well. The only downside of this memory right now is the price. To be completely honest, the first 2000 messages are free per month and most of you won't need any more. The first 2000 messages for you get for free per month and then it's 125 per thousand messages. Also the first 5 megabytes of data per month are free and then you pay 2.5 per megabyte. To be completely honest, most of you are gonna use the free version. Also if you are a startup you can get about 5k in credits apparently. But anyway, the good about this memory about Zep is that you can also self host it and so i think my one of my next videos is gonna be about that i'm gonna show you how to actually self host the memory to be honest i've never done it before so it's gonna be interesting for me as well anyway that's about it if you want to learn how to do AI agents how to start an agency i'm helping uh, my friend yanis with his community i'm pretty much uh, something like an instructor there so if you want to ask me questions uh, feel free to join i can see you there and if you want to work with me on a project that you want to build, you can always contact me using the link below. That's it. Take care.